there are so many just absolutely incredible places out there. And I think it's important to get out there and explore. But uh, maybe getting outdoors and camping isn't exactly for you. Maybe you want a little bit more luxuries. Well, that's where technology comes in. This is the DJI Power 1000. It's the first large capacity battery that DJI has ever made, and they're officially entering this space. And it gives you power no matter where you are for really anything you need. I use these types of batteries all the time. I've talked about a bunch of them here on the channel before, and they come in handy. If you're doing any type of off grid, either you know camping or even production, having a large battery like this has become a staple. Like you can't go without it anymore. I can power literally everything I need wherever I am, and that that is huge. But I've yet to find the perfect battery, the one that does everything exactly the way I want it to do. And DJI thinks that this might be the solution. And well, it's got a lot of stuff built in. This is one battery in a set of two that DJI announced. One is the Power 1000, the one I have here, and they also announced a smaller DJI Power 500. And that number stands for the capacity. Inside is 1,024 watt hours of portable power and it has 2,200 watts of max power output. So this is a high capacity battery that has pretty much all the juice you'd need to tackle many different tasks. When DJI reached out about this, I was a little confused about why. I mean, there's so many companies that make batteries that are very similar to this, you know, similar capacities, similar features. So why did DJI jump into this? And really the only thing I can think of that makes the most sense is this an ecosystem play? Yeah, I mean, if you've been paying attention to what DJI has been doing the last few months, I mean, they have cameras, they have camera accessories, they have microphones, obviously they have drones. Really, they are becoming a full featured brand when it comes to production. And I guess, you know, having ultimate power with you is kind of just that next step. And with that ecosystem, DJI has a few features that kind of, you know, give you a little bit of a level up if you're using other DJI products. Real quick, I want to talk about the design of this battery because there's a lot of different ways you could go. And I think DJI made some interesting choices here. What I like is that everything you need to use this to both charge it and use it for powering different items, everything is in one side on the front. So you don't have to worry about cables going to different areas on the battery. It's just all right here. It's also super easy to use. It's a very DJI-esque interface with this great screen to tell you everything the battery is doing. You can turn it on and off. And on the side, there's actually two quarter inch threads that you can attach accessories to, which is great. I'm also thinking about, you know, maybe mounting this with those threads so that I can keep it secure. So the design is somewhat unique, but totally functional. One of the big worries I had with this battery when I first, you know, took it out and started using it is the port selection. It has every port you need or are used to, but it's just the amount of them. It only has two AC ports and that was a little iffy at first because for me, when I'm going out, I use AC ports all the time on these batteries. I love to plug in Starlink and set that up so I have internet anywhere. It has become a really invaluable piece of tech that I use all the time. If we're camping and it's overnight, we like to plug in like a heated blanket or something that's over AC. There's just a lot of AC ports and only having two can kind of, you know, limit you a bit. And I think DJI's solution or answer to this is kind of on the other side of the battery, the SDC port. This is a place where you can plug in different accessories and, you know, get quick charging out of them. And specifically for DJI drones, which for someone like me, I fly DJI drones all the time and I'm charging up those batteries continuously. This gives you fast charging there. So for the Air 3 and the Mavic 3 series, you can charge up those batteries in 30 minutes, 30 for the Air 3, 32 for the Mavic 3 battery. So that is incredibly fast. That cuts almost 15 minutes from your charge time on these batteries. And that's thanks to this high power port. And I guess the thinking is, you know, if I'm plugging in those accessories anyway, typically I'd be plugging that into an AC port and now I don't have to, I can go into the SDC port. Now, one downside to that is I will need a cable to do that. So that's one more proprietary thing that I would need to have. But if this is kind of your ecosystem, 
I guess that's okay. I, I don't know. I would love to see more AC ports, especially with the design of this. I feel like that could have been possible, but at the very least, at least once I got used to how the system worked, I was able to charge everything like I normally would and power everything. I was just doing it with different ports than I was used to. Now there's two SDC ports, one a regular SDC and the other is SDC Lite. And this can not only charge, but you can also input for solar, for example, you can plug in the solar panels through this SDC port. So this is really kind of the do everything port of this battery. And right now, you know, DJI is focusing on drones, but in the future, this could easily be expanded to quickly charge other devices as well. Now, AC and SDC is one thing, but there's also USB here, USB-A and USB Type-C. And with that USB Type-C, you can get 140 watts of power, which means you can charge pretty much anything, including, you know, full-size 16-inch MacBook Pro and get that full power in super fast times. And pairing that with the capacity of the battery, that means you could charge that MacBook Pro, for example, up to eight times with this battery and do it super quickly. And really that means you just have the power available over USB for whatever you end up needing to charge, not only now, but also in the future. Now to recharge this, you could do it from a wall or you can use solar, or you could even charge from like the outlet in your car if you wanted to. That's all pretty standard. You could do that all here, but it charges really quickly when you do need to. So over AC, it only takes 70 minutes to recharge. And also during that recharging, it's super quiet. Sometimes these ramp up and get really loud when recharging because when you're fast charging, it makes a lot of noise. But DJI worked on making this as quiet as possible, all the way down to 23 decibels, which is basically as quiet as a regular home appliance. So you're really not going to notice it. So DJI is in the battery business now. And I'm not mad about that. Like I said, this is kind of an ecosystem play. Now, everywhere you look in the, you know, the creative field, DJI kind of has an option for you. And this is just another way to do that. Now, whether or not this is the one you should get, obviously, you know, check out the feature, see if it works for you. But for me, I'm excited to see where this goes for DJI. DJI loves to innovate very quickly and they kind of aren't afraid to take chances. So I'm hoping that, you know, with some of the feedback from this battery, the next one will be, you know, even better. But even still, it does everything it's supposed to do, works well, tons of power built in, and I'm just glad DJI is doing this.